Hokey dokey. Second example for this problem, I will do it a little faster. So if you need more of a breakdown, visit the first example I've worked out for this type of problem. So they're asking us about the ratio A over B and how they change over certain intervals of time. So what we'll do first is just create a second chart of just the ratio values A over B for times 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we'll take the A value and divide it by the B value for each of these time values. So for the first one, 182.67 divided by 71.26 gives us about 2.6. I'll just use one decimal place. And then the next one, 2.91 divided by negative 0.21 gives us negative 13.9. And then the third one, 154.06 divided by negative 2.8 5 gives us negative 54.1 and the last one 178.36 divided by negative 10.46 we get about negative 17.1 all right so now we're checking Statement one, they say the ratio A over B decreases from one to two. So from one to two, it goes from 2.6 to negative 13.9. So that is a decrease. Therefore, that statement is true. So number two, they say the ratio decreases from two to three. Two to three goes from negative 13.9 to negative 54. That is true. It's decreasing. It's going further into the negatives. Number three, they say the ratio does not change from three to four. From 3 to 4, it goes from negative 54 to negative 17. That is clearly a change. It's an increase. And so to say it does not change would be false. So it looks like statements 1 and 2 are true. So we break out the eraser, and we see that E is our answer.